So here I am on a couple of days before Christmas. Um, the weather forecast is storm force winds, um, heavy rain. It's eight o'clock in the morning, so it's just about light. And I find myself about to go fly fishing. <laughs> just getting over a really bad man cold and I thought that's what I need to do I need to stand all day in the pouring rain freezing cold high winds and see if I can catch a trout and just for good measure um, I'm also bringing along that's right a battery because um, I'm going fishing from a boat and the battery on the boat was not really doing it last time I think it's getting quite flat and the last thing I want to do is to be out on a lake with a outboard that isn't fully functional because um, if I get pushed down the lake and pinned into a reed bed in high winds I'm going to be there for a while even with oars um, so uh, the, normally when I go trout fishing I travel fairly light but I've got some gear here. I've got my trolley, um, I've got my fishing bag, I've got the battery, I've got the camera equipment, I've got my life jacket, I've got a fish bag in the remote possibility that I, I might catch a fish in these conditions. Um, and I've got to get all that down this, it has to be said, very wet, very slippery, soggy bank to the boat uh, and guess what there's nobody else here and guess what there was nobody fishing yesterday because the weather conditions weren't as bad as this and nobody came fishing um, so it remains to be seen when I'll catch but uh, I'll give it my best shot right I've got to get on now and get all this gear down to the boat so we're down at the boat <laughs> I'm just about to set the rod up because I don't think I'm going to be setting it up out there. It's way too windy. This is uh, <clears throat> beginning to feel less and less like a good idea. I don't feel I'm in any danger. I've got a life jacket on. I've fished this lake many times and this boat is very stable and I have two anchors. Um, but it's looking quite choppy out there and um, well choppy is an understatement they're white horses which is not the sort of thing you get on a small lake you might get them on Grafham and other reservoirs but uh, not normally on a small lake so um, I'm not going to take any chances and uh, if I feel that the situations are a bit ridiculous for fishing then uh, I shall come in but you've got to be in it to win it so uh, let's have a let's just have a quick look around and see see what we've got here so uh, I think you can see over there that that boat cover probably tells you all you need to know about the weather conditions so I'm going to be using a floating line uh, I'm probably not going to go much beyond the nine foot leader because uh, otherwise it's just going to be really difficult to cast um, I'm probably going to use something like uh, to start with anyway I'm going to use I think a Montana uh, yellow one maybe a uh, green one so be a Montana and uh, I'm probably going to try and fish it fairly low in the water but of course the first thing you've got to do is to find your fly leader and see if we can launch the boat I've got the uh, I've changed the battery so I've now got a brand
brand new, well, brand new, fully charged battery. Um, and this is a powerful outboard. Uh, and I rarely need to put it on full power uh, unless I'm wanting to get somewhere in a hurry. Uh, I'm going to have to put it on full power, I think, this morning because I've got the wind blowing down the lake and across the lake to where I am and uh, I need to go that away and this is the whole point of having a powerful engine because if I didn't I would just be blown down the lake into the reeds never to be seen again so I've got everything I need let's uh, launch the boat So I'm anchored in a little bay, it's not giving me much protection but it's giving me a little bit of protection and it is possible that there's a few fish that are holed up here um, and it's certainly worth a, worth a punt so um, I'm going to give it a few casts. Um, the reason I'm wearing this rather natty camouflage top is because when I got here even though I knew it was going to pour with rain um, I left my waterproof top at home I've got waterproof trousers on waterproof boots waterproof hat waterproof bags haven't got a waterproof top fortunately there was this rather natty item which I found in the fishing shed which um, it's not going to keep much water out, but it is going to keep the wind out for a bit. So, you've got to be in it to win it. I'm going to, that's going to be something I'm going to be saying a lot, I think. And I've currently got the line caught around the tackle bag. In the tackle bag. Around the camera. Right. Let's try the first cast and see if we can get the fly in the water without losing anything. The outboard secured. We've got a depth finder it's telling us that we're in four foot of water. We're going to just do a few casts into this bay. There's, there's the bay that we're going to be fishing into. Seems to have got the line around almost everything. Where's it going? Right, it's in the water. up try and keep a bit of this wind off me <clears throat> well it's nice to be out out in the boat not out of the boat
expecting 40 mile an hour winds at 10 o'clock. <clears throat> it's now just after 8 o'clock. And if these aren't 40 mile an hour winds, I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like when we get 40 mile an hour winds. <laughs> some more rope out to see if that's going to help. I think that might have helped. I think what happened was there was so much weed around the grapnels that when I put it back in it just acted like a big ball of weed, didn't do anything. I think... I think we might be stationary. So let's do a little bit more fishing. Get out of here. Get out of Dodge now! Well, I don't know how your day's going, but I lifted up the anchor because <coughs> I was drifting, and the uh, the grapnels weren't getting a grip in the in the weed. Um, started the outboard, at which point the outboard decided to c become detached from the back of the boat, so I had to stop the power. Guess what happened then? I started to drift even more towards the weeds and the reeds. So I sorted out the outboard, <clears throat> started up again. One of the um, one of the anchors had gone over the side, so that was holding me. So I got that in, started to motor back. The wind took the rod. I grabbed it. The line went in the water nearly went round the propeller which would have been game over so i managed to sort that out i've motored up the lake a bit more <coughs> put both anchors out and i think i may be in a stable position i'm a bit closer to this edge than i'd want to be but hey if anyone comes fishing in 40 mile an hour winds they won't be fishing there because the wind's blowing that away so let's uh oh the, everything's caught round the um the outboard. I've got fly line round the outboard. I've got fly line around round the depth finder. 
got fly line around the anchor rope. Note to self, if you ever, ever try to convince yourself that you're going to go fishing in 40 mile an hour winds again, please, please don't. Right, the fly has now been traced through every piece of equipment on the boat. You've got to be in it to win it. Right, flies in the water. The fly line is now around everything. Where did that come from? fly line in the water. Right, normality returns, I think. Right, let's fish. They call it madness. What are you doing now, apart from a trout? A nice cup of tea. Never satisfied. Well, it's five past nine wind has really picked up in the last minute or two and uh, yeah it has and uh, the white white horses which I thought were quite horsey and quite white are now even bigger I, think I may have to see if I can find I'm fishing where I want to fish in terms of wanting to catch a fish if this carries on, I'm going to have to go and go somewhere where it's just sheltered. Well, I've fished this bay with a variety of flies and it's time to move. The wind's getting up. I say move, I'm not going, as in leaving. The wind's got up and um, bit of drizzly rain in the air um, so I'm gonna move further up the lake it'll be windier but I just need to keep moving I think I have a feeling the fish are all shoaled up and uh, I need to find them so I've just moved I put a Montana on again and I've just brought it back with a quite a fast movement. I just had a take which didn't connect but it's promising. Going on. Right, it's getting all horribly rainy. So I'm gonna get myself all sorted out so I've got nothing getting wet that shouldn't get wet.
we're back. I would have to say that's about as extreme trout fishing as I ever want to see. Um, it wasn't really so much a case of fishing where you want to fish, it was a case of fishing where you could fish. Um, the wind got up, it died down, it got up again, the rain came, the rain left. Um, but the biggest thing was um, there just didn't seem to be the fish wanting to feed. I caught one um, and I was very grateful for that. Um, I persisted, I overcame a line round the propeller, had to take the propeller off. Um, the uh, leads kept shorting because it was so wet. Um, I had umpteen times where the I had two anchors out and the anchors were going round each other. Um, it was hard work. Um, enjoyable? Not really, but um, it was a day's fishing. I remember it. Um, and I came back alive. <laughs> oh dear. So it's now um, going to be Christmas in a couple of days and I'd imagine after that um, we may get some good weather. Hurrah. Until the next time and of course you've got to be in it to win it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>